Hey, dude. Wow. I am sorry. I think it's the the bolt make make need. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be litter it one day, dude. It's a promise I'm making to you right here, right now, man. Well, he's seen the first ever switch trip 1080, dude, and he chucks it in such a fashionable manner. The afterbane, man. <laughs> Holy. So tasteful, brother. He tosses this thing like a Switch Triple Rodeo 1260, but rather than pulling that last continuing 90 degree rotation to make it a 1260, he holds it at 1080 by pulling a Pretz 90, man. And he lands Switch. He also hit the same axis, tossing a Switch Dub 7, but he added in this really dope high up safety tweak, man. Check it out. Follow this guy on the old Instagram. Now, I think it'd be appropriate to follow that up with the biggest switch trip rodeo 12s done on a pair of twigs, man. My tummy ignited with joy when I saw this on my Insta feed this week. McCray Williams trip 1260 here has got to be one of the nuttiest tricks laced for level one's 20th produced film. It's called Romance. They released it last year. If you haven't seen it, dude, go check it out. Cray's just a wild one, brother. Like this isn't even a step up. This is a massive booty booter. That ain't even a step up. So to toss a trip, rodeo 1260, dude, on something that great. Ah, it makes your mind explode thinking about it. That's insane. That's is just wild. That's ah, crazy. <laughs> so sorry, but I can't even attempt to pronounce your name or comprehend your skin. Core 360 screaming semen, brother. Never seen one of those done before. Wow. Yo, and he screams the semen so heavily, bro, that he almost pulls that ski to his opposite hand. So close to tapping the tail of it. Oh, oh the face is somebody can toss a dub 18. Oh, it's dude. Double cork 1800, that's two flips with five, dude. Five full rotations. Five rotations, two flips, jeez. If you slow this thing down, you can see he sets a cork 1080, then pulls for another cork 720 to make it a dub 18 hondo. I don't know how, but he also manages to hold tail throughout the whole thing. Like, that just adds the next level to something that doesn't need another level. It's ridiculous. Do yourself a favor and go give this guy a follow. Colby Stevenson coming out with the biggest 540 swap this planet has ever seen. Just look how big it is. Oh my gosh. The clip isn't finished there. He goes on to lace a really sick line. Hits a switch tails 450 onto that down rail. Then he's going to get a back 360 swap over the down flat of this DFD, brother. Colby tosses these hits with utter ease. So it undermines the difficulty of what he's doing. But rest assured, 540 swaps. Big old 540 swaps. You can trust me. It ain't easy, dude. Incredibly tactical tricks he's throwing. This man is a champion, and it's crucial you follow champions on Instagram. So I'll leave his handle linked in the description for your benefit, brother. For your benefit. Triple cork 1440s. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but they've kind of become a conventional trick in freestyle skiing. So it's not the fact that he threw a triple 14. It's just the fact of how he threw that trip 14. Oh, it was good. Tim Ryan. Absolutely textbook trip 14. You can see he sets cork seven. And once he finishes that 720 rotation, he's going to pull for two consecutive cork 360s there. He also managed to hold tail throughout the entirety of that trick. And again, I'll reiterate, it's one thing to toss a nutty rotation like a triple cork 1440. But to grapple onto your ski in any which way throughout the entirety of that trick just adds a whole nother extended difficulty that, dude, it can't even be quantified. <laughs> Go check out the rest of his feed, man. He's nuts. Those are big shifties. So that's 540, hits the biggest shifty you've ever seen, and then follows it up with an even bigger shifty, dude. Matt, shout outs to Drink Butter for introducing me to Remco, man. I don't know where he's been all my life, but bro, this gotta be some of the steeziest skiing I've ever seen. 
This guy is also one of the very few individuals I've seen come like this close, dude, to nine off, sign off his leg with a mute tweak. Like, bro, watch how heavily he yanks his ski here. <laughs> <laughs> dude i apologize i'm sorry for the shorter video today also for the lack of content over the last week i'm in the midst of finals season right now so most of my time is being devoted to understanding Schumpeter's circular flow that way we can get cash flowing from capitalists to you know entrepreneurs who have great ideas that will bolster innovation in our economy that way we'll see some growth in the solo residual and see a lot more positive mpvs not only for the firm itself but for the economy right that way we're not going to see a lot of corruption in terms of political rent seeking right which is great for mpvs positive mpvs in a particular firm but not necessarily for the greater social welfare of a particular economy so that's what i've been doing that's what i've been doing for the last week boys you know i love you and you know the good good lord good lord man <laughs> yo he loves you see you in the next one